Welcome back everyone for the next part of I the Somnia file. Uh, I know this is a little bit weird that I show you the loading screen, but well, today is my second time recording this game, so I wanted to show you guys something very special that I noticed when loading the game file. And that is, you actually get a preview from what you saw. I mean, wait, let load, and then you're going to see what I mean. It's very cool. I mean, look at it. You see the scenes. You, you see the scenes that I saw before. Even though it doesn't really fit to the other path that I choose. But still, it follows like four pictures that I did, uh, I mean, I saw before saving. What happened during that Somnium? And we are back where we left off. Exactly at the point where I saved. We saw the whole thing on the monitor. Yeah, yeah. This was, it was very strange. It looked like everything was made out of paper. A pop machine. But we're just as confused as you are. Well, upon further reflection, it is not so strange. You think? Dreams are developed outside of our conscious will. When you sink into Somnium, there is no guarantee of what you will discover. What about the figure? It could have been Iris herself. <laughs> no, that's not the case. And I still think it's super weird that she kissed so on a woman's body. That is a possibility. Also, we already saw the real thing. This is a murder scene. It's just so strange that they kiss like that. The sinker sees the subject's dream from the third person. Ah! That means that Iris... Kiss so. She must have met So Sejima somewhere. We did see Congressman Sejima in there. We saw that shadow kiss him too. Oh yeah, yeah. I I wonder what that means. Did that happen in reality? Of course not. There's no way. Not necessarily. I'm sure you've had dreams of kissing celebrities and porn stars. Right? <laughs> the first part, yes, but the second part, no. You sure about that? Ah! I don't like this look! Anyway, you know what I mean. A dream is not made up entirely of memories. It can include things outside of your memory. Like TV or movies. Well, that would include the fact that I was in the vision of her. Which means maybe, maybe I'm, I'm not the killer after all. Since I don't think that she kissed so like that. So maybe I am not the killer. In her memories. But still a super weird. Iris is super weird and her dreams are very, very weird. Even if the figure was supposed to be Iris, her smooch insomnium does not necessarily reflect her actions in reality. True. You can't use the word smooch. Why not? So we don't know if Iris and So are acquainted. That's right. Because So is a celebrity of sorts. Okay. It's possible she just saw him on TV or online. Okay, that explains it. Because his head was on a woman's body. And, to make it even better, in the other scene, we didn't saw the woman's face. No, wait, wait, we saw her face. There was a face, there was a picture over it. Okay, this is f everything about Iris streams is weird. I'm not, I'm not going to try to figure out what it is about. At least not for now. Before I get confused again. <sighs> we were silent for a moment because this is such a weird dream. When I was deep in my thought, I heard Pudo speak. Date, Iris is about to wake up. Good. Got Iris, it. Iris, we need to talk about your weird dream. I'm sorry that you had to dream something crazy like this. Somehow you always end up with the weirdest of dreams. Putting me to sleep when I wasn't expecting it? Sorry about the that. Are more rough than I thought. I'm sorry. You signed a consent form before you came in here, didn't you? You forced me to sign it. I did what? Anyway, Iris, I have some things I want to ask you. What? Uh, oh, now I got the chance to ask you. Okay, uh, do you know a political, uh, like, so, or...? Yeah, I know his name and face. I've never met him. You sure? You haven't? I'm just an internet idol. It's not like I have connections to politicians or anything. But you know him. 
Uh, do you remember your dream earlier? I mean, fragments? Dream? What are you talking about? Okay, fine, fine. I know, I know. The subject of the sink does not experience Somnium as you do. I know, but you never know. Maybe some fragments remain. Iris would not know about it. Uh, how do you feel? Everything's alright? Okay. Normal, I guess. Okay. Why? Did you do something that would make me sick? Um, no. Well, maybe in your dream you did something that made me sick. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Inside your head is all. <laughs> inside my head? Yeah. Uh, about the, the message with Ota. Would you. Iris, let me ask one thing. The message Ota sent you on Nile. About the thing. Would you please tell me about the thing before you die or Uta dies? What is that thing? The last time I tried to ask about it, everyone died. I don't know. You do know. Don't lie to me. Uta's the one who wrote that. You should ask him. Iba, Ota's phone is still broken, right? But he definitely sent that Nile message. Ota purchased a new phone in Akihabara yesterday. Ah. The same number? Yes. Call it. Hi, Ota. Connected. Hey, it's Konami Date. Where are you? Good that I can talk to them both separately before he is going to shock me again. Ota. Ota, I'm with Tessa right now. Don't, don't force my lips. I can still talk about the thing you did with Twitter. Ota, I know you can hear me. At home. I'm at home. Got it. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Good. Is Tessa still at the police station? No, she's with me. Yes. If you want me to talk, release her. Oh, come on, Ota. Criminal procedure law number 198. Oh, come on. Don't give me that. Persons may refuse to heed a summons or leave the supervision of the police at any time unless they are arrested or detained. Yeah, yeah, Tessa it's okay. It's okay, Tota. To oh my god. All persons of interest. It's okay, Ota. Everything's you fine. An arrest warrant for Tessa, right? No, because I don't think she's a criminal. So if you don't release her right now, you are violating the law. Okay. <clears throat> I think now my voice is back. Sorry about that weird cut, but my voice was cracking right now. I think I talked a little bit too much before the recording, so I, sorry about that. I know that I'm violating the law, Ota. I know it. But I already violated the law before with her signing stuff that she didn't really want to sign. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> Damn. Do we have a deal? It's okay. You want my testimony, right? Yes. Bring Tessa here. Heck no. I'm going to end up killing her, like last time. And I promise I'll tell you everything I know. Oh, you idiot. This kid is starting to get on my nerves. Oh, not only yours. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to kill him. I am going to kill him. Shit. <sighs> okay, let's head over. Iris, come with me. We're going to Matsushita Diner. Were you talking to Ota? Yeah. Well, yeah, telepathically. You know, since I am a mystical being with a ghost possession. I have special powers. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think she's believing it. But you are acting weird with that eye if they don't know what's going on. It's like you're talking to yourself, but actually you're just on the phone. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I don't think your mother is going to approve of me bringing the witch over, but uh, sure, Otter. Let's do it at your home. Tessa! Thank you, Ota. It's thanks to you. Yeah. That's right. It's not like you can do whatever you want just because you're the police. I'm going to kill you, Ota. Just to wait. Maybe not. But you better keep your promise. I can just switch over to the other path and then you'll end up dead again. Like last time. <laughs> well, um... <clears throat> uh, Tessa. Tessa. About that thing. Can you please tell me something about it? Didn't Please. I tell you? Ask Ota about it. But you also know about it. I don't want to talk with him. He's annoying. Have you ever meet or <laughs> met Ota's mother? 
She doesn't really like you. Don't you have things to ask Ota? I don't care about Ota! I'm caring about you! Hurry up! No! Heck no! Is this your first time here? Why does that matter? Why are you so arrogant right now? Do you want me to leave? No! What the hell is wrong with you? Iris is standing next to me. Oh my god. Okay, Ota. Okay. I guess uh, you and me are going to have a talk. It's Ota. He looks pretty nervous. Of course, I'm going to kill him. Where's your mother? She's in the living room in the back. Ah, so we have witnesses around. I think she's watching TV or something. Never mind then. This is going to take a while then. Okay. Did you come all the way here just to ask me that? Maybe. Uh, did I keep you waiting? I was nervous thinking about Tessa. Why? She's safe with me. Not like she's going to die next to my side. I couldn't stop imagining what dirty, perverted dojin plots you were acting out with her. What? As long as I am in your eye socket, that won't happen. And as long as I'm at control, this is not going to happen either. Wouldn't happen anyway. See? Uh... I guess you brought a new cell phone. <clears throat> yeah, I did. Yesterday in Akihabara. Why didn't you say so earlier? Do you know how many cards I had to pass around in order to get to you? <sighs> okay, about that thing. So let's hear it. What is that thing? That thing? Yeah, the thing. Don't play dumb. You sent that message to Iris. Oh, um... Well? Don't make me angry. Date, will you do me a favor? Depending on what. What? There's a picture on the counter, right? I swear to God, Alta. If you try to shock me again. Yeah, and? I want you to take a good look at it. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you if you even think about shocking me again. The photo. No. Yes, the photo. No. No. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, Ota. <laughs> Well, at least, uh, uh, my, my, my eye is still active. But what the hell, Ota? If you're going to kill her again, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> Why do I keep getting hit by him? I'm going to kick his butt so hard. Oh. What time is it? The day has turned over. It is Monday, 2.50 a.m. Great, the same time I woke up at Marvel, just 10 minutes earlier, which means I am able to get there on time. You've been unconscious for nearly five hours. Five hours? What the fuck? <laughs> Ota! Ota got me, didn't he? Freaking hell! He did. I'm killing he him! He struck you over the head with the walk. I'm going to kill him! Ah, little bastard. Why did he do that? I don't know, but afterward he ran off with Iris. How do you know? You had lost consciousness, but I was still watching. Perfect. I recorded video of the incident. Take a look. Did you get some voice recordings? I want to know what happened. Tessa, wait. Uh, I'll get the car. Uh huh. So he can drive, huh? You witch! There you go. Don't stay away from my boy. Protect me. An Ota! Huh? Tessa! What did you do? Wrong? Did something happen? No. Everything's fine. Okay, let's go. What did you do? What is wrong with her mother? Ota. Huh? Something is wrong. That wasn't a normal reply. Why didn't you chase them? 
I'm sorry. You should have jumped out of my eye and ran after them. I couldn't move. The mechanics controlling my ambulatory motion were short-circuited by the blow to your head. <sighs> God damn it! But something is wrong with her mother. What Dustin, is wrong with that mother? Oh, how am I gonna report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an I know, it's a live stream now, recording. I know. I, I know you don't need to you don't need to repeat that. Oh god damn it. Oh, Ulta, I hate you so Iris. much. It's incredible. How can you manage to screw it up twice? Well at least Iba wasn't hurt this time, but still. I'm going to kill you! If the killer doesn't kill you this time. No, that's And if you manage to save her, I'm going to kill you either way. I'm the source. Identified. It's so okay. Fishery cold storage warehouse. Okay, you're right. This time I'm ten minutes earlier. Date, focus. We need to get to the site now. I know. I know. We are ten minutes earlier than it are on the other path. We can still pull it off. And the last time I was twenty minutes too late. I kept my foot at the gas the whole time. I could feel the sweat on my palms, the engine raising a high-pinched scream, but I could barely hear it. My heartbeat was pounding in my ears, shaking me to the core, because this time I actually have a chance to catch them! How much time had passed, the feeling of time itself had disappeared. Eventually, the car reached the long bridge. Now we're going to get there. Shortly after, the image changed. Oh no! No, I'm not there yet! I'm ten minutes early! You can't do this! That sick bastard. Pull up here! God damn it! Don't you dare! I don't want to see that again! Oh, Dante, can you can't you just be a bit faster? Come on! I don't wanna to... No! I chose this path to change that! Tessa! Well, at least Oda's still here. Oh, Oda, you idiot. Oda. So what's the plan? Oda, can you pull off as long as you can? Am I able to catch you before something stupid happens? Come on, get a bit faster. Let me make it in time. This time I need to be in time. Come on! For the love of God! One time! Let me be in time! I didn't see the death scene! Oh my God! Please! Please! Please let me make it! Please! Oh! Yes! Yes! Come on! Just hurry up! Hurry up, Doctor! Ah. No! Yes! Yes! Square Ota! Yes! Tessa's alive! Okay. Yes! Date. Where did they go? Through the back door. Good! Just hang on, Ota. Help is on the way. Screw him! I plan to kill him either way! Just let it happen! Accept the mind accept your peace of mind. Tessa's alive. Iris is alive. Oh my god, she's alive. Is en route to this location. Oh, she's Dante, alive. Pursue the culprit. <laughs> All right, I'm on oh, it. Oh god damn it. Ota. Ota, I hate you. Distress. Ugh. You know, if Ota never kidnapped her, all of this would never have happened. But of course he had to do this. Let me guess I didn't catch him. Of course Any not. traces of the culprit? Still nothing. Oh, god damn We it. also didn't catch the culprit on any of the surveillance cameras. Why not? They probably got away through the back alley. While wearing a polar bear costume. Are you serious? Maybe they took it off and threw it in the ocean. Uh, probably. If it were filled with something heavy, it would sink to the bottom. Ah, oh, great. At, well, at least this time... Neither of them died, right? About Okiura fishery. You should ask Iva about that. 
Uh, yeah, true. She probably has all the information. Yes, I have already done some research. And? Okiara Fishery is owned by the Okiara we know. Yeah. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okiara Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. And why do they still have that name? In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. So it's a coincidence the criminal chose that location? Unknown. Huh, interesting. Uh, I want to hear from the representative of Okihira Fishery. They're giving statements at HQ right now. Good, so they are around. The line is pretty long. Oh, okay. You could just talk to Mizuki. True. Right. She's part of the Okiura family, too. Oh, speaking of. Hey, boss. Did you end up sending anyone to take care of Mizuki yesterday? Jeez, you're finally getting around to asking that? Well, yeah. You know, I had a lot on my mind on the other paths, so I never bothered asking. Yes, she's fine. I had one of our new recruits take her. Good. She took her back to your house, so Mizuki should still be there. Ah, that explains why she was in my house of the oak tars in Tessa's dead. So Mizuki's at home. <sighs> and I'm fairly certain she's furious with you. Well, of course she's angry at me. After leaving her alone with Mama, I mean. I'm sorry, I had no choice. I couldn't have taken her to the Yakuza's. You saw what happened over there. Uh, about So. So, Sejima? He was in Iris' Somnium yesterday. I know. Right. But Iris says she's never met him. Did you get any information? Why not ask So about it? So lives in Azabu, right? I guess I could. Ugh, I don't really want to meet him. Has the CHI found anything at the warehouse? No. It's still ongoing, but they haven't found anything of note yet. Great. Useful as always. Date, Aiba, go to the warehouse again and investigate. Of course. You two might be able to find some useful clues. Of course. And uh, about Iris and Ota? They were taken to Central Hospital. Good. Ota's surgery went well. He's in treatment now. Good. He's stable. Nothing life-threatening. Good. That means I'm still able to kill him later. Iris, though. Yeah, I think that's critical. It's not really nice to have an eye removed like this. The pain is incredible. She's still in surgery? Yeah. Iris's left eye was forcibly removed. Ah, the hurts. Because the optic nerve is connected to the brain, the surgery will take some time to complete. Of course. Uh, have you contacted Hitomi and Mayumi? Of course. Hitomi's at the hospital, waiting for the surgery to finish. Please, Iris, you need to make it. And Mayumi? She was at the hospital earlier, waiting for Ota to get out. I think she went back home to get some clothes and things for Ota's hospital stay. Oh, God. I still wonder what happened with her. She was acting very strange during Iba's recording. Date, last night, Mayumi left the diner to chase after Iris and Ota. After Perhaps some... She knows something. There was a delay in her actions. Yeah, she might. Let's listen to Mayumi's story. Well, I go investigate then. Alright, boss. I'm going to investigate all this. Got it. We're counting on you. Let's go, Iva. Roger that. Well then. Anything of interest that I didn't see before? Something new? Doesn't look like it. Hey, Mario. Nothing of interest. Okay, first of all, I want to go to the diner. Because I'm really interested about Ota's mom. I need to get to know her a little bit better because she was really acting strange. She hates Iris. She uh, she called her a witch. Iris got closer to her. I didn't hear anything. Maybe she said something. And then it got quiet for a second and then they f she followed them. There was something going on and I didn't quite catch it. Or maybe Iba was cutting some footage out. I mean, that's still an option. She can do whatever she wants with the recordings. But at least I get to see the um, scene with a happy be? smile on her face. 
What do you mean, who might you be? It's me, Konami Date. We met yesterday. I gave you my card. Oh. <laughs> Did you forget me? So, how can I help you? Well, I wanted to talk to you about Ota and uh, what's uh, with this picture? Oh well, about that photo. Oh, this? Could you show me it? As Mayumi spoke, she turned the photo towards me. This is a family photo from when Ota was still small. Ah, that's the father. Finally, I see the father. Cool. I wanted to look at it again. And where's the father? I'm a horrible mother. I've always caused trouble for my husband and Ota. They've helped me so many times. I am such a burden. But you are not a burden. They were always smiling. They were so kind. I remember a gift they gave me one Mother's Day. The knife! They knew how much I liked floral patterns, so they gave me this apron and a kitchen knife. You know what? I kind of want to see that kitchen knife now that you point it out, because Oda had a knife wound, if I remember right. Oh, I was so happy. But then again, I don't think you would attack your own son. But you did act strange last night. I was crying and smiling and... That's what this photo is from. It's kind of embarrassing, but isn't it such a nice photo? Yeah, it is. Yes. It's really very nice. nice Naomi. Um where's your husband? Oh, who knows? Date. I did some research on her husband, Ota's father. And his name is Matsushita Takaro. He has a very interesting design. He died of myocardial infarction five years ago. Wait a minute, he died? But she always said that he was gone and would come back someday. Does she even realize that he is dead? What? What is going on here? Does she have some kind of memory problem? Uh, are you done packing? Packing? What are you talking about? She has some, she has some problem with her brain, I think. There's a problem here. There's it's something wrong. I came here to pack some of Ota's things for his hospital stay. Ota? At the hospital? There is something wrong here. My boy's fine. What is wrong with you? You shouldn't say things like that to a mother. Can I scan her? It's Mayumi, Ota's mother. She has a picture framed next to her. There is something wrong with her. Last night? What time? But how come she was able to remember everything when Ota died? What is the reason of that? Before 10 p.m. Oh, I was already asleep by 10. You were sleeping? That's a lie. That can't be. What could the co wait split personality oh, maybe? God. Is there split per no? Oh god, I don't know many sicknesses. You left the diner to chase after Ota and Iris. Wait a minute. What could possibly be the split personality could affect it, but I should probably look up mental health issues in order to solve this. But I guess they're going to explain it to me in a very short time. I saw the whole thing with my own left eye. But there is something wrong. Left eye? Not both your eyes? No, 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 I'm something like the Code Geass guy. I have a special eye, you know? Oh, wait, you don't watch animes. Uh, uh well. <laughs> Let's anyway, just ignore that. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't go anywhere last night. Oh, yes, you did. I was asleep. I was dreaming. Sleepwalking, maybe. Dreaming? But that would be weird. Yes, a very nostalgic dream. Okay, if she was sleepwalking, that would also be a solution. It was when my son had just started elementary school. I had Oda run an errand for me. And he was taking so long, and I was waiting. My husband said it was nothing to worry about, but I couldn't take it anymore and went to look for him. I found him at a traffic signal, crying. He said he couldn't come home because the signal was still red. Red, huh? Crying blood. 
There is something wrong here. But it was one of those crossing signals you have to push. Push. You need to push something, huh? Maybe like lever push. <laughs> that boy didn't even notice it. He just stood in front of that red light. So stubborn. So stupidly honest. Ah, oh, that's my Oda. He was so cute. I couldn't help it. What is wrong here? What did you see? Date, I noticed something. Can you look at Mayumi with the thermal imaging turned on? Uh, sure. Um, here. What do you want to see? Oh, I know! You want to check her brain. Do you see it? Part of her brain is blue. What does it mean? That might be due to low blood flow in that part of the brain. What does it mean? Which means... Mayumi has an illness. I know that already, but could you explain to me what it is? I've checked her hospital records. For the past six years, Mayumi has been suffering from dementia. Oh! Dementia. Symptoms vary considerably, but Mayumi appears to be afflicted by memory loss. Oh, that's bad. She seems to be missing memories. I see. So that's why she keeps thinking that her husband is going to return someday. So that's where those weird comments were coming from. Can she run a diner like that? Of course not. It isn't running. What do you mean? Matsushita Diner has been closed for eight years. Matsushita Diner is near the Kabasaki district. It is not technically within the restricted area. However, after the chemical plant explosion, the number of potential customers must have dropped considerably. Before the accident, this diner managed quite well due to its proximity to Bloom Park. Patrons from Bloom Park would often eat here, being the cheaper option. But Bloom Park closed eight years ago. And that's why they closed as well. The customers stopped coming. And then, naturally. But how did they were able to manage for eight years without any customers? She still thinks that the shop is working. Who got the money? Except Ota Does did Mayumi something. Not that the store is closed? Ota, did did you really have a connection with the Yakuza? I do not think so. I mean, now it would be slowly getting together. Because of the dementia. Yes. I can't believe it. Slowly, it's getting together. Well, is that all? I have to start preparing for the dinner shift. Mayumi stood up and went to the kitchen. Date, let's go. It's better that you leave things be. No! There's something wrong! I think maybe Mayumi was the killer. She, since she did lose her memories every time. You're right. There could be something behind that. She was sleepwalking or something. She did something. I need to know what happened. I need to get information. Ah, uh, Aiba. Aiba, I, I'm onto something. Something happened with her. You can't just... Oh, okay. Uh, let's go to the warehouse, maybe? Yeah, why not? We already went there at the other path, so this should be quick. And if we're lucky, Pewter is going to show up again. That is, if we are lucky. Then again, there are some difference between the one and, and the other path. So maybe somebody else is going to show up. Or nobody at all. And we're going to see somebody else in another location. That is, That could also be the case. Well then, what's going to happen? Kagami, are you around? These cars have been parked here since before 3.17 a.m. Right. One van and one station wagon. Ota was talking about getting a car, if I remember. Oh, we're not inside. We are outside this time. Good to know. Who owns the van? The Matsushita family. Uh -huh. It appears as though it was used for transporting ingredients and supplies. Well, he did take Iris here. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car! But are you even able to ride the car? I mean, drive the car. Ota's fingerprints <gasps> were found on the steering wheel and gear shift. 
Iris's fingerprints were found around the passenger seat. Those were the only prints recently made. But why the hell did you drive here? Why? Is there anything else found inside the car? So Ota brought her here. There was one thing. What was it? Ota's cell phone. The one he purchased two days ago in Akihabara. Maybe there are some information I can use? It slid under the driver's seat. Where's the phone now? Its data is being inspected and evaluated. Can you hack inside and get me some data as well? Probably not. Wait, it's still green. Uh, nothing else. Okay, and this car, what's this? This station wagon is a stolen car. Ah, uh, this could be from, from the mother. Stolen? Last night, the owner of the vehicle reported it stolen. Probably the mother. It was stolen at 10.33 p.m. yesterday. I mean, she did follow them. The theft occurred in Fuchu, Tokyo, in the parking lot of Famisto, a convenience store along Koshu Highway. Okay, I'm not sure if that was close by. I don't- I'm not really- I cannot remember the whole map layout. The Famisto parking lot, huh? The car was stolen while the owner was shopping inside the store. The vehicle's engine was on. And that's why you always turn off your car if he goes outside. Even if it's just for five minutes. You can't just leave your car on. Somebody could enter and then drive it away. The doors might have even been unlocked, which would have made the theft easy for the culprit. See? That's just stupid. Who took the car? Ota Matsushita. Huh? What? Ota got into the car and drove off. How is that possible? The security cameras at the convenience store caught the entire incident. Why would it drive two cars? Ota's fingerprints were also found on the steering wheel of that car. That doesn't make any sense. There is no doubt that it was Ota. The stream of the polar bear started around 3 a.m. Wait a minute, it doesn't make any sense. How can it be in two- Wait. Correct. About 10 minutes later, Ota appeared on screen. Ota stole the car at 10.33 p.m. Let me think. Let me think. If Ota brought Iris over here with the one car and left her here to hide her and then noticed the live stream, stole another car to drive over here to save her. Then that would mean the polar bear is not Ota, but it could be the mother. That would explain why there are two cars around. That makes four and a half hours until he appeared on screen. Huh. I cannot find anything in the vicinity that could be a clue. Me either. Let's check inside the warehouse. Oh, I can get inside. Cool. But I didn't talk to the police. I'm not sure if that was a good, uh... But then again, the police never helps me out either wow. way. it's cold in here. Of course. The air conditioners have stopped. However, the insulation in the walls has kept the room temperature close to what it was this morning. I should finish this investigation before I freeze to death. Right. Well then, you had better get started. First of all, this time you're going to talk to the police. Are you cold? Yeah, some engineer from NRIPS created a jacket lined with heating wires. And? That keeps me warm. Nice, right? Could you maybe pass it all over to me? inspectors around here are wearing them. Could I maybe get it? I don't have it. Any progress? I checked this place point by point, but didn't find nothing. Ah, great. Helpful as always. Uh, any clues? Uh, no, nothing so far. Kagami! Ah! Uh, do you have a family? No, unfortunately, I live alone. I don't understand. You're just a pretty guy. A job like this, I don't really get the chance to meet new people. But it do meet a lot of people, but most of them are dead. Once this case is wrapped up, how about you and I go to a cabaret club together? Yeah! Let's party! You and me together! Hey, now you're talking. You're buying, right? Of course! I was going to pay for everything. Sure, I'll expense it. I recorded that conversation. I will be sending it to the boss later. What? Uh, on second thought, uh, why don't we split it? Aw, lame. Oh, sorry. I was just... It's blackmailing me. Uh, we see each other a lot, don't we? Kagami! Yeah, wish it were under better circumstances. <laughs> yeah, that's true. In a bar, maybe. Have a drink or something. Too bad you're not a girl. This could be the start of something. <laughs> oh! Oh, you don't know! Kagami! 
Kakami, you don't know about that. I mean, I look like a guy, but deep down, I am a girl. Playing a guy right now. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, thinking the same thing. Okay, the, the, the world reverse is a bit strange. Uh, the inspector is doing his duty as usual. And now, to our favorite class of things. What was your name again? <laughs> Good one, Dante. <laughs> I know you love it. Have it's I best asked way. you before? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like 20 times. Wait, wait, give me a second. It's coming back to me. It has something to do with glass? <laughs> Where are you getting this from? I don't know. I have a pretty unique name. I know, Kagami. What was your name again? Do you remember now? Yeah, I think I've got it. Yeah, I There's know. three syllables. Something like... Oh, six letters long. <laughs> oh, now, now you're teasing you him. You remember all that, but not my name? He remembers. He's just teasing you. You still and... don't know. No, not yet, but I I've almost got it. Wait a second. He's going to get there. Just three give him time. Syllables, six letters. He's going to get there. Kodaka. <laughs> oh, Dante, hey. come on. Not even close. Oh, come on. You can do it. Do you want me to just tell you? No, no, no. Where's the fun in that? No, no, g give me a hint. It starts with Ka. And then a Gami. Kagami. <laughs> starts with Ka, three syllables, six letters. You're making Come me on. sound like a riddle. Come on. Um, You're getting there. You can do it. it. Kaniza? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sure, man. That's my name. Wait, what? No, it's not. Come on. His name is Kaniza. Probably born between June 22... Uh, 22? <laughs> oh, July. What's your name? My... That's my friend. Can <laughs> Are you sure about this? Don't lie. No! Don't rename him! He's Kagami! Wait, did it also update his files? I need to check that right now. Uh, persons. Inspector. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. No, 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 his name is still Kagami. Perfect. But why does he suddenly hate Kanazi? <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Let's see. Now, this time we only have one blood pool from Ota. That's where he was stabbed and went down. 3 a.m. this morning. <coughs> Iris was lying right here. But this time she didn't if die. If Ota hadn't come to save her, it would have been too late. If Ota didn't kidnap her from me, all of this wouldn't have happened in the first place. The tires of the forklift are clearly frozen to the ground. And that means it's not able to move. It hasn't been moved in a long time. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It just seemed noteworthy. Okay. And this one? I don't see anything special about it. Okay, time to check the shelf then. The box empty. The shelf itself? There are only a few items on the shelf. Some boxes, is this I know. not in use? Probably not. I mean, the company is probably big enough to have a warehouse somewhere else. Anyways, this box is empty. Then we have the big thing on top. Nothing. Uh, the barrel. Oh, it's the same thing Tessa used. It really does look like Reika from that cabaret club in Nakamagura. What part of her looks like a metal tooth? What? Okay. Okay, uh, and this shell? Hot box, dark spot over there, uh-huh. The shadow on the left catches my eye. What shadow? Mm-hmm. I don't I don't see Shadow. Look. Is this something? Oh there's something! Huh, there's something there. You and what is it? it what is it? Huh. I recognize this. An Odoroki man chocolate. Wait. Uh, doesn't the boss have that? You've been collecting them for three years. 
I remember the boss office had those on the walls, if I remember right. Each chocolate contains a special sticker inside. Years ago, you started buying them for Mizuki, but eventually, you got hooked on them. Even after Mizuki lost interest, you kept buying them. That's a bittersweet memory. The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why is this here? Good question. Perhaps we can use it as a clue. Let's investigate further. Hmm, okay. Uh, I don't see anything else on top of here, so I guess it's time to check for the equipment. A video camera and laptop. This is what the criminal used to stream. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. Which means there is no possible subject, uh, suspect we can conclude with the buyer list. I have logged into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse. Okiura Fishery Co. Ltd. is listed as the owner. Of course. However, I found the password written directly on the router. Which means everyone and could see that. Okay, so this is the same as before. This is the same as before. Workbench. Can't find any clue. That machine is used to cut ice. I know. We have gathered testimony from the workers regarding it. This has always been in the warehouse, so the suspect did not bring it here. But he needs to know that this thing is was around, or else he wouldn't have bought it. I mean, wouldn't have used it for killing, any right? fingerprints? Nothing. No fingerprints have been found at the scene at all. Not even the polar bear? This entire warehouse is clean. Ota touched it. I see. Ota touched it and the polar bear. <sighs> Oh god, I'm getting a cold. Oh, oh, it's freezing. Date, we're at our limit. We've examined everything of interest here. Let's go elsewhere. True. I agree. Well then. Uh, the next location we're going to explore in the last... Uh, the, 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 not, the, not the last part, in the next part. I hope you guys had fun. Now that everyone is alive and not dead in this part. And in the next part we're going to continue our investigation. Hopefully figure out who the killer is. My guess is Ota's mom right now because of her amnesia. And well, hopefully I, I guess wrong because I don't really want to see her as a murderer. But it could fit. Anyways, see you in the next part. Bye!